Hello and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to add advanced editing tools to your WordPress post editor. Here I am inside of my WordPress using the classic editor. As you can see, there are very limited choices in terms of changing your fonts and the sizes and other advanced editing features. Let me enter in some random text real quick. Now there are some basic things you can do such as right here this is the font or the text uh, size but there isn't really much options here and you can also bold some text but where is the underline option I don't see it if you go here to toolbar toggle it'll pop up underneath some more options but there still isn't extra features like underline. I'm still looking for that. You can change the text color though. So let's try that. Okay. As you can see, there isn't much options. Now let's add in a free plugin called the Advanced Editor Tool. You can add that here by going to Plugins, Add New. Let me open this in a new tab. Now under Add Plugins, go to search for keywords advanced editor tool okay just like that and it is previously known as tiny mce advance click on install now and once that's done click on activate okay and once it's activated under settings menu over here you can see advanced editor tools if you click on that you will arrive here in the advanced editor tools settings page and you have two options, one's for block editor for Gutenberg. If you're using the block editor, you can customize it right here. And if you're using the classic editor like me, you click here. And then now you can customize the editor features and options. So right here, it looks like this. So let's drag over some uh, new buns and features. So remember the underline right here. So right there at the top, so we got underline and we can also drag like superscript and subscript, even emoticons. So let's drag that up here somewhere. Okay, and you can play around with these other buttons if you want. Now that's all there is for me. I only need pretty much font family and the font size and the underline click on save okay let's head back to my post here let's save draft real quick and this will also refresh the page okay as you can see I have new editing options now so now I can actually underline and then also change the font we have a little bit more options and I can also control my font size rather than just depending on these headings and I can also do emoticons so let's do a quick preview okay there it is I have my underline my emoticon and everything is working beautifully okay that's all for this video i hope this helped give you some more wordpress editing power thanks so much for viewing and be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more wordpress tips tricks and tutorials thanks again and happy blogging